Hey guys, Julian here, and today I'm gonna to bring you on a little behind the scenes shoot um, for an eyewear campaign that I'm shooting. Now, the brand that I'm shooting for, they're actually based in Brisbane. And for those of you that aren't familiar with Australia or Brisbane in particular, Brisbane is known for its sunshine. Um, it's beautiful, bright, clean city, very close to some really beautiful beaches and coastlines. Um, so what the owner of this company has done, he's got me to shoot some content for him in Melbourne. Um, as he does sell Australia wide, he wanted some Melbourne content. By comparison to Brisbane, Melbourne has, like you can see behind me here, some really sort of gritty, grungy laneways, um, a real sort of urban vibe, um, if you know the right spots. So he has kind of, the brief to me is to capture the gritty urban side of Melbourne, um, shooting two different frames on the one model. Um, we've got two hours to do it, so I'm probably thinking just to give him some options, two different locations for each frame and the deliverables for this shoot um, are 10 images. So I figure that'll give some really nice diversity across those images. Uh, what I've also, what you'll see me also focus on today is I'll be shooting some full body shots so you can see how the glasses are styled with a full look, then some tighter shots and then also some detailed shots or product shots just of the model holding the frames and the frames in the location that we're shooting the full sort of campaign shots. Um, this will, I think, tie in really nicely through their Instagram and give some continuity to the feed. Um, shooting on the EOS R today, I'll be switching between the 24 to 72.8 and the 50 mil 1.2. Um, the 1.2 probably for those um, tighter portrait shots, um, using some of the laneways, trying to capture some really nice depth. So I'll introduce you now to my model, Danny, and uh, we'll get started standing as you were and keeping your bum pressed into the wall, but lean forward a little bit with your body for me. Yeah, that's it. Cool, and looking straight down the laneway. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, nice, hold that for me. Yeah, cool. I'll give you a quick look so you can. Cool. Maybe go with your other hand, so yeah, it's not blocking that light. Nice. Got your kind of head, so I want your hair hanging a bit. Yep. Nice. Cool. And nice. Great. Uh, just looking towards. Yeah, actually, I'm just gonna get. So this is just from like here up. Perfect. So we'll try that with the other hand. I'm just gonna take a few detailed shots. Yeah. Cool. I think we got this location in these glasses. So today we are shooting in the middle of the day. Um, it's a really bright day in Melbourne, full sun. Um, so one of the things I really like and is quite convenient about shooting in laneways today the light is really soft and directional, particularly if you're shooting at the middle of the day, it kind of comes in, if you shoot close enough to the end of a laneway, you get light coming in from one side and you can use that to give some nice dimension to a model's face. Um, or otherwise you get the light coming in straight from the top, but it generally, so long as it's not right on midday, 12 o'clock, it is nice and soft and not too directional, like not really directional sunlight. All right, so these are full body now. Yeah, great. And again, just do that kind of lean out for me. Yeah, great. And maybe hand down for one. Yeah, cool. Um, you know what I might do? Get you off the wall now for a few. And maybe sort of even off the curb, sort of standing sort of back here on the, on the lane. Yeah, great. Cool, and now looking up out the end of the lane. Yeah, they're cool. Cool. Perfect. Cool. Oh, we'll just do a couple of those producty shots. Hold it up like you're about to put them on. I'm just going to take this detail on the inside. So, uh, down a little lower. Yeah, cool. Oh, no, no. I like that hand on it. Uh, both. And just how you had it before, slide it down. Yeah, that's it. And just like really nice soft grip. Perfect. Cool. Okay. 
think we are good here. Yeah. Thanks. So I'll do a few full body shots to start. Right. Yeah, that's cool. All right, so now we'll go kind of like mid thigh up. Cool. And maybe just reaching at the frames for me. Cool. I want you to just take him off um, with two hands, yep. And then just really naturally, like not slowing it down, just really naturally putting him back on for me. Okay, I'm just gonna shoot away, don't worry about me. So just put them on as you normally would. Cool. Do that again one more time for me and I want your head tilted forward just a little bit. Yeah, go for it. Great, hold that. And one more. But when you look that way, can you give your hair a flip? So one of the other points that I mentioned earlier was shooting full body, sort of half body type portraits and then detailed shots. So what I generally like to do is I like to look at a product, pick out some of the interesting points of that product. For example, the nice little gold logo on the side, the gold logo detail inside, even this gold piece across the top and then the polarized sign on the front. So they're probably the little intricate details that I want to really capture. Tilt it towards you a little bit more. Tilt the frame down a little bit. Now that we've got that range of photos in this location, there's been one more location requested by the client. Um, a little laneway, it's got a lot of graffiti in it. He kind of really likes, he saw a photo on my Instagram uh, from a, quite a while ago. It shows a real nice, some really nice leading lines, a lot of depth of field. So we're gonna shoot that last location and then call it a wrap. just arrived at the last location. This is the one that was requested by the client. Um, what we want to work with is Danny, the model, right in the middle of the laneway, and we're going to be looking for some really nice sort of leading lines and a really shallow depth of field. Mid thigh up, yeah, that's cool. Great. So I just took the first few shots in this laneway on the 2470 2.8, and I kind of wanted to stop it down a little further and get a bit more depth of field happening. So I'm just gonna throw on the 50 mil 1.2 and um, and it's probably its sharpest at around uh, F1.8, F2. So I'm gonna take a few shots around there. Cool, I'm just gonna get a few sort of half body shots now. So that's it, all wrapped up, two frames across multiple locations, plenty of different diverse content to be able to get those 10 images through to the client. One of the things that I did learn while shooting eyewear is that you have to be really careful of getting yourself in the re reflection unless you want to spend heaps of time in Photoshop. So one of the little tricks is shooting a little bit lower, trying to hide in their nose um, so that you're not seen in the reflection, otherwise have fun in Photoshop. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, help me out with a like and subscribe. Make sure you check out my model Danny, link down in the description below, and Paul, who has filmed all my BTS. And as always, thank you for pressing play.